Effects of whole body vibration and direct laryngeal vibration on paralaryngeal relaxation in a single subject with muscle tension dysphonia. Muscle tension dysphonia is defined as excessive tension in the paralaryngeal and laryngeal muscles, resulting in discomfort in the affected musculature and complaints of hoarseness. Signs are not limited to the larynx, but may also manifest as postural issues. Recent studies suggest that the application of low frequency vibration may help relieve vocal fatigue and improve vocal function in singers and non-singers without voice disorders. Additionally, there is some emerging evidence in the physical therapy literature suggesting that whole body vibration may improve rounded shoulder posture. We aim to show improvements in laryngeal relaxation in a patient with MTD after vibrational treatments through direct assessment of laryngeal structures using quantitative measurements. Our subject was one 23-year-old female with primary MTD. The quantitative scale we used to measure laryngeal relaxation was the laryngeal palpatory scale. This scale is a valid and reliable instrument to determine severity of tension and postural issues in the head, neck, and shoulders, which may impact voice production. Here are the experimental phases. In phases A1 and A2, we took baseline data. Phase B, the subject used a personal massager to vibrate the paralaryngeal areas for 10 minutes. In phase C, the subject stood on a whole body vibrating platform for 10 minutes. Visual analysis of results shows that scores on the LPS were lower in both treatment phases. The most striking effect is the latency or immediate drop in the measures on the LPS following the introduction of each treatment. Statistical analysis shows that changes from both baseline to treatment phases were significant, with direct vibration having a slightly greater effect. The results suggest that both direct laryngeal vibration and whole body vibration promote relaxation of the paralaryngeal musculature. Overall, this study provides weak evidence regarding the efficacy of treatment due to few demonstrations of treatment effect and a small sample size. However, this information can provide direction for more robust studies in the future. Although whole body vibration did not have a greater effect than direct vibration in this study, it is possible that such changes would be seen in a larger sample size and extended study length. Thank you.